I wanted to make a tip shaper I saw online, so I did a quick sketch and cut the pieces out of foam so I could do some aluminum casting. Here I am casting a few of the parts. I made a few mistakes. One, I didn't bury the parts deep enough in sand and had a few catastrophic failures. Two, I tried to do all the parts in one sandbox, so I couldn't get all of my riser cups to cover all of the sprue areas. One of the problems of not burying your parts deep enough in sand is the aluminum has the possibility of breaking through the sand. Here is one of those problems in action. Oops, oh well. I'll just pour out the remainder of what's in my ladle and see what I've got after they cool. Here they are. This one is totally junk. Scrap. This one didn't turn out too bad. I might cut it out and see if I can make, uh, make it work. This mess right here has a couple of parts that might work. I'll have to cut it up and see if I can separate everything. This is one of the parts that looks promising. After cutting it all out, I came out with two good parts. Hopefully I can clean them up a little bit and make them work. This one's a bit rough and will need a lot of refinement. My soup can cush head pressure tool worked out quite well. The rest of this is going back into the remelt pile. So here they are. After a bit of refinement, I think I can make it work. They still need some cosmetic uh, sanding and grinding, but at least I got uh, some workable parts. I put some taps in and four screws to hold my cutting tool. I also marked the very center of the pivot point, and I'll show you what that's for later. On this piece, I drilled and tapped the hole before I realized that it needed to fit into my holder. I had to cut it down. It stuck out this far before. It needs to slide into my quick change tool post tool holder. Before it stuck out too far and I had to cut it off. Luckily the hole was where it was and I'm still able to use it. Alright, let's put these parts together. This is what it'll look like as it sits in the tool holder. This rotates up in a radius around the tip to shape it. The cutter fits in here. Once I loosen up the screws a little bit, it'll drop right in. Maybe I need to loosen the screws just a little bit more. There it goes. I can adjust it to cut any type of radius tip I want. I like a penny radius, so that's usually where I will set it, but it has the capability of cutting a dime and a nickel. It fits in my tool holder like this. No wait, that's wrong. Maybe I need to spin it around. There we go. 
slides in like this and I can lock it down. I will rotate it up like this. Let's see it in action. It drops in my quick change tool post and I lock it down. I have to set that center pivot point at the very center of the tip. That's why I marked it. Then I move the tip of the cutter all the way up to the tip. It looks a little low here, but that's because it pivots. I raise it up so I can get it right up to the center of the tip, almost touching. I turn it on and slowly work it forward until it starts cutting. cutting this tip real slow because I'm unsure how well it's going to work. Looks like it's working pretty good, so I ought to be able to shape tips faster in the future. shaped tip. I'll try to get a better light angle so you can see it better. There we go. Thanks for watching.